Welcome back everybody, it's Fresh Chef here, Little Cheese. How's all my fellow cooks out there doing today? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Restaurant Tutorial. I tell you, I'll be teaching you how to make a simple hidden pop-out staircase to get into whatever room you want in your house without anybody knowing how to get up there. But with that being said, guys, we'll try to break 10 likes for this video. So don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed uh, today's video, guys. And with that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, this rest, uh, pop out hidden staircase is pretty simple. Now like say you got a room up your house or your base or wherever you have a room up there and you want to get up there but you, but you can't get up there and your other players learn how you get up there. I created a hidden pop out staircase using a T flip flop system. So what you do is press this button right here. Staircases will pop out and they're actual stairs not blocks. And you just run up here, go to your chest and store your stuff or go to bed and sleep and then if you hit this button right here which I put in right here it'll retract the stairs and then I can get up there now without uh how the door about kind of get you and you push it again you can uh open it back up and go back down and just do that and it closes back up so it's simple it's easy guys it's not too difficult at all but with that being said I'll show you how to build it now Let me find a spot real quick. <laughs> but before I do, guys, I want to show you how the redstone works behind it. So pretty much you got your redstone dust hooked up to your pistons with a T flip flop system right here. And then you got a redstone dust come from up here with your other output from where you're it from when you get up to your uh, room or secret little place where it's at, but it's very simple. But with that being said, I want to show you how you get started with, with the build. So what you guys need is block of your choice to build. Now, whatever block you choose to build with, you need to have a smashing staircase for it. So like wood planks or quartz or cobble, stone brick. This, you want to make sure it has a course, uh, matching staircase to it. So uh, I'm going to use cobblestone as always in my tutorials, but... <laughs> What you want to do is go ahead and grab your stairs out like this. Put wherever you want because this is going to be your wall. This is where it's going to be hidden at and it's going to come out to here. Just make sure you have a space where you want to come out at. But No, we don't do that. So go ahead and uh, get your staircase built up. It don't matter how high you go or how small you make it. But. And this tutorial I'll just probably go up a little bit, not too much. And I'll do one more. No, not there. So go ahead and put your blocks down so you can get your staircases on there. So using those blocks as a reference point. And then go ahead and break these blocks. Now what you want to do is go ahead and grab your stairs again. Come around to the side that you're not going to be seen. So you so you want to take your stairs hook each stair up like that so when you look at it from this side it looks like it's a wall so you won't see their staircase coming in and out of your wall so it looks flush and hidden so keep doing that as staircase that way uh, backward staircase to each of the stairs that you're using just like this then what you guys want to do is go ahead and fill this in your wall right here so no so they can't be noticed so when you guys look at it it doesn't look like it looks like a wall so I'll go ahead and fill this up and show you what I mean so when you have a wall like this when you put those backward staircases in hooked up the other staircases that are actually coming out of the wall it makes it look like a wall so it looks like it's flush and not be seen with holes in it so and after what you want to do is that grab yourself well you probably want to put a stick of pistons first Just grab your pistons can I put it right here without being away can I can I no wrong way okay so I'm gonna tear this down but I just wanted to show you what that looked like so what you want to do next is grab your pistons Put them right behind the stairs that you're actually using that you're going to climb up to your uh, 
base with, have them pop out. And I'm just going to break this because I just wanted to show you what it looked like watching you put a ball there. But right now I need to get on this side so I can put the pistons down. So let's see, I need to I'll put a block there. Just for a reference point, I'm going to put blocks right here. You don't have to do this, but it's kind of easier if you did so you can put your pistons right next to your staircase blocks. No, not left facing <laughs> up. Just like that. No. What is wrong with you? Come on. Get face me. Okay, why are you being a pain in the butt? Just, just face me. Face me. I'm having trouble playing this block, guys. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> okay, then next stair. Next staircase. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Got a headache, it's kind of hard to concentrate. So, okay, after you get your pistons hooked up to your stair blocks, then you go ahead, then you go ahead and uh, I'm going to fix this real quick so it'll look nice and neat. There we go. And we'll go ahead and build our wall up like this. So, Now I'm just going out here to draw to get myself some room for redstone. Okay, so now when you have a wall, it looks just like this. The stairs are flush in the wall. You won't see them whatsoever because the way we put the backward staircases in. Now what you want to do is no. <laughs> Grab yourself a button. Decide where you want to put your uh, input switch at. I think I'll put mine right here on this corner wall. Put that there. Then go ahead and build your T flip flop. Now you don't have to do this type of input, but this input I recommend it being the best to use. But then what you want to do is go ahead and put yourself up a dropper right here, facing up, not that way, facing up. Then have another dropper come in, going into this dropper like that. Then you want to crouch down, have a dropper on top of that dropper facing you this way. Then grab yourself a hopper, put it just like that. Then grab yourself a redstone comparator, have it come off the bottom dropper just like that. Then have a redstone repeater come off that comparator. And then you can go ahead and hook up your uh, redstone to your pistons just like this. And then what you want to do is grab yourself a piece of redstone dust to put right here next to this bottom dropper. And then go ahead and put yourself an item in here. It don't matter what it is as long as it's an item. So now I want to hit this button. T flop flop will work. It'll pop out the staircase just like that. And then when I hit it again, it should close it up. Now to get an input up here, guys. To, uh, to use the shut, uh, to close your staircase up back behind you in your uh, hidden room or wherever you have it at. I'm going to go ahead and just build like a little platform right here real quick guys. Just to... I'm going to do this real quick make sure I'm not in the way of the stairs. Okay. Perfect. Not in the way of the stairs at all. I'm just going to build a platform right here real quick guys just to give you an idea where you can put your button at but let's say you want your button right here so we put your do put your button there grab yourself your block or your choice whatever you're building with have it come out like this That's probably going to be where the redstone dust, isn't it? Yep, the redstone dust is going away. Okay, so I have to go over it a little bit further because we don't want the redstone dust from the pistons touching this button. You want to have the redstone dust on its own circuit. You don't want that to touch. So we'll go ahead and put the button over this way. So scratch what I just said. <laughs> so there we go. Now we'll put the blocks right here. Grab a redstone dust just like that. 
Then you're going to bring this out like this, and you're going to bring it down pretty much. A nice little pretty pattern, don't matter. <laughs> little staircase block system right here. This kind of do hard upside down. <laughs> Why I got holes right there? I don't know, but anyways. Let's go ahead and make this actually. You want to make this a little bit longer. You want to add a bill out of repeater right here. Just to make sure your single is getting out there far enough. So what you do is grab your redstone dust, bring it out down like this. Oh, well, I didn't mean to fall. <laughs> then bring it over because you want to hook it up to this dust right here. So in order for you to do that, you got to put a block right here and have a repeater going into here. And then you want that redstone dust to come all the way, hook up to the redstone dust that you have coming up here. There we go, just like that. So now, I want to come back over here to press this button. It'll turn, it'll shut off the stairs, go back into the wall and hide them. So I'm going to do it again. Let's show you guys it works. See? Just like that. And then, to show you this all works at the same time, comes out. You go up your staircase like this to your little secret room, whatever you want to do. Hit the R button again and close it. And that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at explaining things. <laughs> Right now I kind of have a little headache, so it's kind of hard for me to explain, but pretty much after you build your T flip flop, and this is like the easiest one. And if you guys want to know more detail about building this, check out my rest of the tour of on how to make a T flip flop. I made I made this and it's pretty simple and easy, but now when you make your hey rest on coat button from here, have your rest on dust come up to your pistons just like that. And then when you want your output up here, you remember you guys don't want your rest on touch dust touching the pistons right here because you have the dust touching the pistons and when you go hit that button it won't uh, activate the T flip flop right so you want to have that dust away from the dust on the pistons so and if you have to like I said I repeat you might need to just to stun that single so you can reach all the way down here and then you want to put a repeater into a block like this so it's going to power that block which is going to power that dust which is going to power that T flip flop system and then it's just like that guys it's simple Pretty compact, not too bad, but that's all you gotta do. It's your secret hidden pop out staircase, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, though. If you did, don't forget to leave a like for me, guys. If you guys want to see some more awesome rest of tutorial videos by me, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. But I thank y'all for watching, and as always, I bid y'all farewell. And this is Little Cheesy signing out, guys. See ya. Peace out.